Point is you know interesting words of Dr. Kedar about terror altogether of Hamas. And there we see afterwards very interesting table about it. So let us see what Dr. Kedar says. So this is what he says. This is not the occupation, nor the unemployment, nor the existence despair, the terror attack that took place in Jerusalem, like any act of terrorism, hostility, and war in the history of the country, is another link in the sequence of the Jihad war which has been going on for 100 years. This is Dr. Kedar, a very famous historian about what is going on in Israel. So it's no solution, it is jihad, holy war, and therefore never can be stopped. So let us see the interesting table. So this is what we see in the table. The first thing we see in black here, no solution and pitaron. No solution to what? No pitaron to the terror. You can see in red terror and parallel very significant, definitely in tables. Amazingly, you will see parallel Iran. You can see in black Iran comes here. Also, very interesting because Iran, she is the supplier of Vacant to the Patah and to the Hamas, Hezbollah. As they believe, according to the Islam, we can see Islam, which is minimal in the old Torah. Unbelievable in the old Torah. You have here Islam in two letters, which is N. The Arabs, they believe in it, and according to what Iran understands and believe, according to the Islam, there's no place for Israel in the world. They have to wipe it out. This was they are not doing the bomb. And 100,000 missiles against Israel. Because they call to the belief Israel is Satan. They have to be wiped out from the world. Because they disturb the Messiah to come. Unbelievable. So this is exactly what you see. So when it is jihad, when it is the holy war, you cannot solve it in politics with two states or three states. They will never be, never be satisfied. Unless Israel will be wiped out or checked away to Europe, back, as they say. Now, what you have here also, Amalekite, you can see the word Amalek, Amalek comes here. As this is the evil force, the evil force which comes to attack Israel when they dedicate the service, with the Transgress the Torah, and the Torah, the Torah tells us when Israel came out from Egypt, they were attacked by Amalekites because they desecrated the Sabbath. Then also, because they doubt Hashem, mine, mine, there is God with us or not, lack of faith, no. So today when you have the new government, which is really government of the left, this well, against the Torah, against the Sabbath, as you know, clearly they say clearly, they don't want Sabbath, they don't want impurity of life and all of this. So, no doubt that the Amalekites are far away for leaving Israel. So, interesting. So, what more we have here, which is the most important, is the Messiah. Now, when we say the Messiah will come, when Jews will repent, they will keep the Torah. You can see the Torah. Twice like, like fire. fire. And only and then, then Messiah will come. come. Only so when Jews will repent, will do Shuvah, will, will keep the Torah. Only, only then we'll have salvation, with Messiah, we'll have happiness and joy. But all the time, the Jews unfortunately, they the create the Shabbos, transgress the Torah. So let's give part to the Samael. You can see here the evil angel who is in charge of the Amalekite and he is the cause of troubles to Jews. So let us hope that Jews really will do true like the Rambam says that Messiah will not come unless Jews 
we repent, we return to God. And as the practical Sanhedrin, the Talmud says that if Jews will not do Shuvah willingly, God will appoint a very cruel leader upon them like Haman in Persia. And today we have Amaniah. Amaniah, which he also exactly the same thing, want to wipe out Israel. And what was the solution then? Just did Shuvah, return to God. And this is the solution which can be only, only when Jews will keep the Torah, keep the Sabbath, purity of life, men and women. Only then Messiah will come and happiness and joy will come to the whole world.